This is the Cancer Action New York video. I'm here with Larry Denisha, Supervisor of the Town of DeKalb, and we're going to be talking about local government grassroots cancer prevention with a focus on chemical exposure minimization. Just introduce yourself, Larry. You know, just let's get started here with you doing some talking to you. Know, just introduce yourself for the um, the viewers. Hi, uh, my name is Larry Denisha. I am the town supervisor of the town of DeKalb. Uh, I've actually, this is my fourth year as supervisor, and uh, a few months ago, uh, Mr. S.A. came and asked if he could talk to the board about cancer prevention, and uh, we, <clears throat> we granted his request. Uh, we felt that it was, uh, it was a reasonable request, <clears throat> and as government local government officials uh, we felt that it was in our best interest and in the interest of our constituents to learn what we could and share whatever was available with our constituents let's back it up a little bit the 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 information that i want to focus on that your board was showing an interest in and that, and that action has been taken on now the world health organization in 2010 they published a report titled Persistent Organic Pollutants Impact on Child Health. And Cancer Action New York has long made a lot of, a lot of the focus of our work has been on the POPs, the persistent organic pollutants. These are toxic man-made chemicals that bioaccumulate to the extent that every animal on the planet has a body burden of the POPs and these chemicals include dioxins and PCBs flame retardants, and a lot of old pesticides. Tell us a little bit about what it was like becoming aware of that report and, and just starting to recognize the fact that there was this, this gold mine of scientific knowledge out there that could be applied to disease prevention, not only cancer prevention, but the, the POPs are actually associated with increased risk of diabetes and heart disease. Tell us a little bit about the um, DeKalb Town Board becoming some two to varying degrees knowledgeable about this World Health Organization report? Well, when we were first uh, presented with the report, uh, and I was, I was amazed at the, uh, at the depth of information that was provided. Uh, and I did share the information with the, with the rest of the board. And uh, we actually, you know, they, they took it home, uh, tried to digest what was, what was contained, uh, came back, we, we spoke about it at, a, uh, at the next board meeting, and we felt that the information that was included was information that we needed to get out to the constituents, our constituents, uh, in the town of DeKalb. And we felt that the best course of action, uh, we could reach the most people, was to put the report on our website, which we did. Um, it's while we may not be able to do to directly impact uh, a lot of the issues, uh, we felt that it was it was critical that, that the information get out to the people, and people could read it, see what the information said, and make their own choices. Exactly. Now. Tell the, the viewers here, how would they go about finding this information on your website? You know, how do they find your website? <coughs> Our uh, <coughs> townofdecalb.org is the website. And so could you just spell that? Just spell it right there so everybody knows how to spell decalb and every little bit of detail of this. It's T-O-W-N-O-F-D-E-K-A-L-B.org. Org. Great. That's townofdecalb.org, and how would one go about, once they're on that website, finding this information about the World Health Organization report we've been talking about? <clears throat> there is, uh, when you get on the, on the web page, um, there is, uh, on the main page, on the right-hand side, there are title blocks, if you will. And I can't, at this point, Without looking at it, I can't tell you exactly which one it is, 
<clears throat> I, I'm quite certain it was Supervisor's Desk. Did you, you mentioned something about the Supervisor's Desk, and I'm pretty sure I got on there, and it was on the tile of Supervisor's Desk. It is from the, yes, you're obviously, yes, you're right. Thank you. Uh, it is uh, from the Supervisor. Okay. That, 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 um, that was the first action taken by local government to actually do the educating about chronic disease prevention that involves these persistent organic pollutants. First action taken, and, and now since the town of DeKalb took that action and put that information up there on the internet, the town of, look at this right now, the town of Oswegatchie, the town of Lisbon, Colton, Morristown, and this is one, Lisbon. All those towns have now placed information that makes it possible for their residents to access this 2010 World Health Organization report on their websites. So we're really, really pleased with this. It's, it's this thing of when some people choose, the town of DeKalb chose to take action to warn their residents about these chemicals and how to minimize their exposure to these chemicals. The other towns looked at that and thought about it and were quick to want to take similar action. The town of Potsdam, too, they are in the process of putting up information. They're talking about getting this up sometime during the summer. They may have it up by now. It's going truly very good. I'm just super pleased with how the towns of St. Lawrence County have stepped to the plate on providing the people of St. Lawrence County with the best scientific information that's available in the world on minimizing exposure to some of the most well-known and most potent chemical carcinogens. Thanks, Larry. This, this has been a great interview. Is there, is there anything that you would want to add before we wrap this up? I think the only, the only thing that I, would, that I would like to add, uh, un until you, uh, Donald, until you came to us and said that you, you wanted to share information, uh, I guess I, I wasn't, uh, I was surprised. Uh, I, I, I didn't realize it was that, there was that much information uh, that was available. Uh, my wife, uh, my wife is a cancer survivor, uh, so it it meant uh, perhaps more to me than uh, than it would other folks. Uh, if you've been touched with uh, with the disease, or anyone in your family, or if you know anyone that has been, I think it means more to you. And for that for that reason, I felt that it was incumbent upon me, uh, as the leader of of the town, and uh, to share it with our board and, and to get the information out to our people. Uh, we can't, obviously we can't make people do things. Uh, all we can do is share the information. We need to share as much information as we can, uh, get it out to the folks, and again, let them, let them make the decision based on the data. That's it. People having the information, they make up their own mind, and we are all doing the best we can to reduce cancer burden and have a cancer-free world. That's, that's the, big, the big picture on this, and I really appreciate the involvement of the town of DeKalb and your involvement, Mr. Denisha. You've been a, a great example of a local government leader, and I really appreciate it a lot. Thanks, Donald. Appreciate it.